Welcome back. This is episode 154 of the Vetney Business Video Show. In this episode, we'll hear why you might be setting up your new manager for frustration and failure, and we'll see how your patient's clinical records could be made available for anyone who may need them online anytime. We'll hear something new about team dynamics. We'll learn what's special about your clients when they reach 50. And I'll offer you my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan, and this is the video show from Ventney Business. My business tip in the previous episode of the show was concerned with identifying and dealing with a poor practice manager. The owner-manager working relationship is crucial, and all too often it fails to achieve what both parties want it to achieve because neither of them is clear at the outset about what their separate responsibilities are and precisely what each can expect from the other. Here's a clip in which Bash Hallow, a practice management consultant from the United States, says you're setting up your new manager for frustration and failure if you try to micromanage everything they do. I think it's important for the practice owner to decide what they want the practice manager to do. And I'm going to push the envelope just a little bit here and say that I often think that practice owners are really looking for an executive assistant, not a practice manager, which is a mistake because a practice manager ultimately brings more value, you know, a practice manager that knows what they're doing brings more value to the practice. So as 